Welcome back to Peaks 47. So I'm just making some alterations here. So this started life as one of those coaling towers. I wasn't getting much use out of it, so I'm going to cut this down even shorter. And the idea is I convey about will sit in the bottom of this. The crane will load into this hopper and then the bout will take it up to the next hopper which will be going un under track to load the wagons. I haven't really left myself that much space down here so I may have to cut some of this back to allow the conveyor bout to run along here. And I've just started lifting this track. What we're going to do is bring the whole sidings up just a couple of inches to perhaps here so cut away this track that should then give the conveyor belt and the loading hoppers a little bit more access around this area I may have to take these up as well So I'm going to have a little bit of a change of plan here. So I'm going to use this grey hopper. I've got to still put it together yet. But I'm actually going to extend this rock work. I'm going to have a track that's been dug out that comes up to about an inch lower than this hopper and then this whole area still be rock face. And then the idea is the crane once it's on its tracks, can come up the track that they've made and then going to have a conveyor belt sat here. The crane can load the bottom of the conveyor belt up into the hopper. So I'm going to use a bit of hardboard as my track so I'm going to have to cut some of this away and then I'm going to place this track in from the ground level coming up to this level
I'm just going to show you this first bit and then I won't film the whole process like you've already seen before. But with this modelling sheet I tend to just bend a lip first just to give me the base of where I want to attach it down to. And it's already got its main shape and just tack that in place and then that's ready for the plaster bandage to go over the top. So quite a few alterations here, just a second thought on what I'm doing. So I've got this crushing plant that I've decided to put in. So I've just simply cut away where I didn't want the rock work. Obviously that's it that's sitting in there now. With trucks that can load underneath, and then I've got my hopper. So I'm going to need to make some sort of convey about now coming out of the crushing plant into the hopper so there's two sidings that now can be loaded around on the other side I'm going to have some more bouts coming out of here and extend this crane so that as if they're quarrying down here and I think along here I'll be having some sort of platform and have this as a going to give this another paint job, give this a paint job at the same time as the crushing plant, probably going to go with a similar style to that. So there'll be a platform on here with this perhaps as a good shed, just dropping in supplies. The little halt will still go in this section here. So that's what we've got coming up on Peaks 47. So I've got a little idea that I'm working on here. It's another little scratch build challenge for myself. So I've got some hardboard here. And I've just super glued it together. And the idea of this is we're going to cut into the wall, place it inside so it's at an angle, and have this as the stonework going into the crushing plant. And I've cut some corrugated paper it's just from Poundland. This is going to go on the side. Paint it grey. I'm going to paint this grey at the same time. And hopefully that should work. So that's what I'll be doing next. So I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I've cut this down a little bit before I glued the paper on. I realised it was probably a bit over scale. So in the next episode we'll be painting this up, get the airbrush out, do some weathering and I'm going to go with the same sort of paintwork as this. And then we'll have to do some work on this crane. I've got to scratch build some tracks for it get rid of the hook, put a bucket on the end of it, extend it so it can get down into this area. So that's what we'll have coming up in the next episode. Hope you can join me for that. Please subscribe if you already haven't. And thank you very much for all, all the comments that you've left so far.